Hello everybody and welcome to Tuesday Tub Talks with Terry. Alright, so today we have Miss Nicole. She is one of my in-house uh, makeup artists and hairstylists, which is awesome. And yes, those bunny ears definitely blend in with the backdrop, P.S. Um, but anyways, that's okay. <laughs> anyways, today we are going to talk about confidence and body image, which of course is an issue that affects everybody, I feel. Mm -hmm. So you can feel free to look at me or the camera, it doesn't matter. Okay. That's what Katie was like, where do I want? Yeah. So whatever. Um, all right. So for yourself, Nicole, when did you start struggling with body image? Um, I would say probably when I was younger in elementary, just because I grew up in a, I guess I grew up with a lot of people who were more so Caucasian and I was the odd one out. And I guess I got bullied quite a bit um, when I was younger as well for the way I looked because I looked different and then I guess that took a toll on me as I grew older and then not having the support that someone should have when they're younger and you know having that confidence building support and whatnot and so I guess I grew up um, idolizing like celebrities and reading magazines and whatnot and comparing myself to everything around me that I thought was normal which really isn't normal I guess you should say and it should yeah. be something that someone like aligns themselves to as they're growing up. Yeah, have you actually seen on Facebook they've been posting those celebrity pictures where it's just like no makeup, nothing, yeah. and they're just wearing like basic sweatshirts and it's yeah. about them talking like every every time you see us we're not actually like we're not human when you see us that way mm -hmm. so the, like even even the celebrities are like listen people like we're not this yeah. way you need to relax. Except for maybe the Kardashians, I feel the robots, but that's <laughs> yeah, the robots. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so like now, obviously, you are older than when you were in elementary school. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. So, do you feel that you have kind of come to terms with your body image and that you've accepted it because you're absolutely gorgeous, of course? So, <laughs> you know, it's true. Um, I have. Like, there's obviously some days where I, which I find are a little kind of off, um, but I think everyone has those days. I think what has helped a lot is, um, oh, I sound like a robot here. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I look like one when um, I talk. <laughs> I think what has helped a lot is not comparing myself so much to things that I see. And I've also, I used to have like a personal Instagram where I was posting a lot of selfies and I was following a lot of people who were, I, I thought were super gorgeous and like celebrities and stuff. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I found over time as... I guess I would go on Instagram and I would go on there on a daily basis and like fill my head with those images that I was starting to feel like I wasn't good enough. Yeah. So then I guess it was like two or three years ago I took the initiative just to delete the personal Instagram altogether and just I guess start over with a new one which is just my um, makeup page which is en.bybeauty. Follow, follow her. Um, <laughs> and then I have my private personal one which is more so just for like friends and family and like personal things um so yeah i think that's helped a lot and i barely watch tv these days really unless it's a movie that you I work really a lot like. so and i work a lot. You're, you're always busy yeah it's ridiculous. i don't know i just try to focus on the things that actually matter in life as opposed to things that don't matter so yeah, I think a lot of that had to do with age, for sure. Like, I know yeah. for me, it was like, you know, your 20s, and you're like, oh, God, I got to make everyone happy, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And then it was like, I hit 28, and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I was like, I don't have time for this. Like, whatever, if you don't want to be with me, okay, bye. Yeah. You know? Uh, so that's awesome that you were able to kind of, like like you did it yourself as far as removing yourself off Instagram. It is, of course, uh, lots of people say that it is actually an addiction. Like, selfies yeah. are an addiction. I was addicted at one point. I literally yeah. would have, like at least 10 selfies a day in my photos yeah and i would sit in the car just like taking selfies getting the perfect lighting like and i didn't know what the i don't know why i did it it was just like an addiction i guess yeah and it's yeah you're always trying to find that and then it's like but this isn't who i am all the time like, yeah. that's the thing but yeah with instagram i think that's one thing they say is that that's what happens yeah. is that you're like my life is so perfect blah 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 and then they mention the statistics that actually um, there was that one girl that had an extremely, like, happy account, but then she ended up committing suicide yeah. because, like, she was always putting out one part yeah. of her, but the other part was and it's really, really sad. Because I remember when, I think it was, like, a couple years back, and I had, like, an iPhone 5S or something, or 5, and those cameras were really good, I found, and then I guess I switched phones, and the camera on the new phone wasn't as good, so 
I automatically felt a little bit oh, uglier that it was with you. a new camera yeah. that wasn't as good as opposed to having my iPhone 5, which took like really, really good pictures. Yeah. So it almost, it was weird how that like took a toll on my like... Self-confidence. Self-confidence on myself just because of what I was seeing on the camera. Yeah, and it wasn't weird. even you, it was, yeah. yeah it was so like weird. technology that was mm. the issue, so that's silly. Um, okay, cool. So what would you, what kind of advice would you give to somebody um, that is in school, like when you were in elementary school? school and of course being a minority right like mm -hmm. that was a big thing you said that you got teased for yeah I was um, like the only Asian girl in a school full of like I guess white people yeah so it was weird I was you know, I don't know but I like I did feel like I belonged at one point but yeah. I just felt like an outsider sometimes just because of the way people treated me and you know people treated you differently and whatnot which is yeah. gonna happen I guess in those situations yeah I think it happens uh people always find like something to bug somebody about do you yeah. know what I mean like for me I was bullied for just being fat because yeah. there was like 12 of us in a class so somebody had to take it I was like I always say they pick on the stronger people right because mm -hmm. we can handle it mm -hmm. um awesome so for yourself uh, you can relate this to body image and confidence if you want, but what is one of the hardest things that you've had to overcome which may have helped you become more confident after overcoming it um, or, you know, was just a difficult time and maybe you're still dealing with it? Hmm. Like anything? Yeah, like, anything. Like, doesn't even have to be doing body image? No, because I know for me, like, when I was in martial arts and I won a gold medal, like, my confidence went whoop, through the roof, right? Because I was like, I'm strong. Like, it, it didn't really have to do with... I wasn't like, oh, I look good. It was oh. like, it was like my confidence went up, or when I do an awesome shoot, that makes me happy. To, okay. You know, just okay. anything. Um, so I was in a you know pretty bad relationship in the past, um, that really took a toll on me, like physically, mentally, emotionally, and it just drained me. Uh, and it was about like a, almost like three years that I was in that, and like it really tested me to my limits, like in all aspects of my life, like even financially. And um, I definitely, I think I grew up a lot more in that relationship and I became out a stronger person because I guess I only had myself to lean on just because I didn't really want to have anyone else take the burden of me. I don't know, I wanted to do everything myself always and like I was an only child so I've always been oh. that way. Yeah. And so I guess um, when I hit rock bottom at that point in the relationship, I guess I had to mentally get myself back up and that actually helped me become a lot smarter and um, stronger and you know more confident in myself and be cool. able to you know hold my ground when it comes to dealing with people and stuff. And new relationships going forward. Yeah, That's exactly. awesome. So, You're a strong independent woman. I'm much happier now. Yay for happiness. Awesome. All right, and lastly, do you feel that your love of makeup, of course, and beauty and all that comes from because you were bullied when you were a kid? Yeah. Like, as you're trying to, like, like you like to make things beautiful, trying to, you know? Yeah, I actually do think so, because, like, I have thought about that in the past, like, where it came from and stuff, and, like, part of it does come from, I had this, this auntie when I was growing up who was around a lot, and she had, like, a lot of makeup, and I would play okay. with it and stuff. But then I think another part of my love for, I guess, makeup and making people feel beautiful is, I guess, yeah, I was bullied and I felt really crappy about myself and I felt ugly. So I remember when I was younger, I would get like samples from makeup counters and I would do my makeup because yeah. I couldn't afford, you know, real makeup at the time. And um, I would just wear like all this makeup and I'd play with my aunt's makeup and then I guess that's how it started. Um, so yeah, that's where it came from and then I just eventually kept practicing on my own face and then yeah yeah cool well that's awesome so yeah you can check out nicole's work it's on uh on my if you go to my facebook it's usually linked in pictures that she's done the makeup for as well as instagram what's your instagram name? yeah go to there and soon she may be having a youtube channel yep. what she's talking about so maybe stay tuned for that as well okay cool thanks everybody and we'll see you next tuesday Bye. bye